Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Salt and Light. My name's Kev and I'm building a uh, Dudley Dix Design 47 foot catamaran here in Japan. Today's episode we're going to uh, look at uh, building the radius chines, gluing the sheets together, putting them over the mould and also looking at, um, at cutting them as well. Uh, so getting them ready to be uh, mounted onto uh, the hulls. Uh, to start the process, uh, we take the first two sheets and we apply a thin coat of unthickened epoxy uh, to each side uh, of the sheets. Uh, we mix, have a mix of thickened epoxy uh, which we apply to one side of the sheet uh, and then we join the two sheets together and then uh, we run some uh, packing tape around the edge uh, just to stop the, the next two sheets from sticking to them. This is the thickened epoxy being uh, applied uh, to the first uh, of the two sheets and then we'll join uh, the sheets together, try and line them up as closely as we can uh, and then we just apply some packing tape around the edges. Then we repeat the process, uh, the thin uh, coat of resin, thickened epoxy, and join them together and, uh, and then we stand them up into the mould. So we're about to put the sheets uh, onto the mould. Now we've done this many times, uh, probably nearly 20 times, and never had a problem with getting a, them to sit into, into the guides, except for this one, one, of course the one we had to film. Um, and we struggled to get it in, but we eventually got it sitting in, into the uh, guides where they're supposed to be sitting and uh, you know, we were able to get it down, but it was just funny that it had to be this one that we filmed.
All right, I had um, quite a few of the radius chines uh, sheets glued up, um, but I needed to um, cut them up into strips. Uh, the first few I did with uh, a jigsaw and uh, or using the table saw, but needed a couple of guys to help with that. Uh, and I don't always have someone here, and they'll pile, starting to pile up and um, get in the way. So I needed to do something about that. So I made a cradle that I was able to put the sheets into, and then by cutting a, a strip of ply uh, and to use as a template, I was able to run the saw through and cut them down uh, to the right widths, and it worked pretty well. Last year, before all the gear uh, had arrived, I was thinking about how I was going to be cutting the ends of the, uh, the, the radius chines to fit onto the hulls. And I came up with this idea of using a trimmer and a sliding mechanism uh, where I could slide in the uh, pieces of, um, slide in the radius chine and then just run the trimmer across, um, yeah, setting up some sort of clamping jig arrangement. And I had the idea in my mind uh, that I'd be able to use uh, something like this. Um, came up with a better idea. I forgot that I had, I had a saw guide that was given to me for my 60th birthday uh, and I've never used it and I didn't even think about it until um, it arrived. Anyway, so I made up a jig using uh, the saw guide. Uh, it was much better, uh, much, much easier to use. So I set the height of the saw guide uh, just so that the radius chine would fit under uh, uh, without it moving and slipping around. I was able to use the edge of the guide to line up with pencil lines uh, and just by using the saw be able to trim off uh, to the lines. The other benefit of this is that on the on the second layer uh, the uh, radius chines have to be cut at an 8 degree angle uh, so I was able to just cut a uh, strip of uh, plywood at 8 degrees I could just slide it in here and line up my pieces of radius chine against that and then and then when I cut them they will be cut at an 8 degree angle. Uh, so all in all, uh, it's turned out to be a much um, simpler um, option of uh, cutting the ends of the radius chines. So here I'm uh, just um, putting the radius chine uh, pieces on, marking them and then cutting them with the saw jig and then uh, just nailing them into position just so that I can get a bit of a test fit uh, for the pieces, get them all cut and then we'll glue them on. Now I will do another episode later on uh, showing the whole process of cutting and fitting the radius chines and also gluing them in position. Uh, this is just a bit of a teaser for what's coming. Well, that's it for this episode. I hope you're enjoying uh, seeing the progress of this build and as much as I'm enjoying building it. Yeah, stay around for future episodes and we'll see you on the next one.